Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to frame a product in your background image with Divi's column options. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we need to do here is to set up our page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new and I'm just going to call this product. But of course, you can name your page whatever you want. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So let's click here on start building. So I'm just going to close this for now because I need to go into our section settings here by clicking on this little gear icon. And then we're going to go to our background and then add an image. So I'm going to click on the third tab, click on the plus button. And the image we're going to go with is this one here. So this is a landscape image. I'm going to select it. Now note the size here is 1600 by 876. So if you want to create something similar, these are the dimensions that you need to use. But of course, if you don't, if you want to follow this step by step, I'm going to leave a link to the post in the show notes below. And these images are also provided. All right. So I'm going to click upload an image. Now, before we navigate away from this um, setting, let's head over here and set our sizing. So our background image size needs to be set to fit. And we also need to set our position to top center. So I'm going to come over here. Click on this drop down and choose top center. Okay, so now that I have the fit and the top center, the next stage is to add the background image. The way we're going to add this is we're going to add it as a responsive image. So if I click here on this little icon, I can choose tablet. And this time I am going to add a rectangular image. So I've just deleted that one. Click on this plus button and this is the one that we need to add. So I'm going to click upload an image. So now you can see here that I have another image for my other devices. So as we did before, we need to uh, make sure it's set to fit and also set to top center. Now it's time to head over to the design tab because here we need to set our padding. So I'm going to click here on spacing and for our padding, I'm going to set this to three VW. And I'm also going to apply this to the bottom as well. And let's head over here to our border as well. And here we're going to set our border width at 2VW. And the color needs to be white. So I'm going to go to my recent colors here and choose white. But if you don't have your recent colors, just go ahead and add white as your color. Okay, so I'm just going to switch back over here to desktop so I can see everything that I'm doing. So I'm just going to save this for now. And then let's add our column structure. So I'm going to click on this plus button and the structure we're going to go with is this one here. I'm going to select that and let's go into our row settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. And the first thing we need to do is to go to the design tab, sizing, use custom gutter width. We're going to say yes. And then our gutter width is going to be set to one. Now what the gutter width is, is pretty much the space between the columns. So if we set it to one, it means that we're not going to have any spaces between the columns. Next, we need to equalize the column height. So I'm going to say yes to that. And then we're going to set our width and maximum width to 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now let's add our left and right padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. I'm going to add my left padding and right padding. And you notice that I've added my uh, chain icon there. That's because I just wanted to make sure that both sides have the same value. Okay, now it's time to add my text module to column two. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button, and I'm going to search for my text module and select it. So to allow our product to show through, we need to empty this text here and make sure there's nothing in there. And now let's head over here to the design tab, click on spacing. And for our padding, we're going to set this to 22. And then for the bottom, we're going to set this to 15 VW. Next, it's time to add our border. So I'm going to come over here to the border and we are going to set this to 3VW. All right, so now it's time to add our color and I'm going to come over here to my border color. And we want this color to be a transparent color. So I'm going to drag the slider down a little bit until I see these brackets. So the value that we need to add has to be between the brackets just like that. Okay, so that's looking great. Uh, and then the next stage is to just head over here to the bottom border and we're going to set this to 1VW. So we're going to save this for now. And what we need to do is to make sure we have our products in WooCommerce already added. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to come over here to WooCommerce products and then just click on add new. And what we're going to do here is to add our sunglasses. So I'm just going to type in here 
sunglasses and you can add our description here by using our lorem text and then over here on the images i want to set my product image and i'm going to go with my main image here and set product image and i'm also going to set my price and that's going to be 588 and then click on publish so now we have our product added onto our product list all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to add our title so i'm just going to search for woo title and here it is so here on the products you can see it has pulled our sunglasses now if this is not your latest product you can click on this drop down and choose the specific product and as you can see i've chosen it and it's sunglasses next i'm going to come over here to background and we are going to add a background color now since this is going to have some transparency i'm just going to drag this down a little bit and then paste my values between the brackets like that next i'm now going to go in and adjust this text so i'm going to click on this brush tool and i'm going to go to my title text so here i'm going to set my text to work sans i'm going to select that and also the size here needs to be 2.5 vw so i'm going to scroll down a little bit and set my size here like that next i'm going to add a bit of spacing to my title here so let's go to spacing and add a padding of 1 vw both to the top and the bottom and then we're also going to add left and right padding and again we're going to have the same value of 3 vw so now you can see that it is nicely spaced so the next step is to add another module and this time is the description of our product so i'm going to click here on this plus button and search for wood description i want to select it and again on the product here you can choose the actual product which is sunglasses so here you can see the background color is a bit off so let's head let's go ahead and fix that so i'm going to click here on this plus button drag the slider down a little bit and then I'm going to paste my value between the brackets like that. Next, I'm going to go into my text settings. And here we need to set this to open sans. And I haven't used this before, so I need to search for it. And here it is. So again, these fonts are absolutely free. So go ahead and use them. These are Google fonts. Next, I'm going to set my text size. By default, it's set to 14. And I'm set it to 0.9 VW. And I'm also going to set my line height to 2.2. And I'm also going to give this some breathing space by heading over here to spacing. And I'm going to add my top and bottom padding. And I'm also going to add three VW both to the left and the right. So this matches what we have here on the top. So I'm going to save that. All right. So moving on, I'm going to add the pricing. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for Woo price and select my module. Now we also need to make sure that we set this to the right product. So I'm going to set my product here to sunglasses. I'm going to go to our background here and set our background color. So I'm just going to paste my value between the brackets. Next, I'm going to come over here to design, go to price text, and this time choose work sans. In fact, I've used that before. And I'm going to set my color here to black. And then for my size, we are not going to be using the default. Let's go ahead and add 2VW for our size. And then we also need to add our top and bottom padding. So I'm going to come all the way down here to spacing and set my top and bottom to 2VW and then left and right to 3VW. So we can't have a price without the add to cart button. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for add to cart. And here it is. And you notice the trend here. I'm always going in and adjusting our background color here. So I'm going to go in and click on this plus button, drag the slider down a bit, paste my value like that. So let's head over here to the design. And to start making changes to our button, we can click here on the add to cart. And to style the button, we're just going to say yes to that. And then you can decide what we're going to do with our button. So first of all here, we can go in and change the font. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose Work Sans. So here it is. I'm going to select that. So for the button text size, we are going to set this to 1.1 for our button text color. We're going to set this to white. And I know I've used white before, but if you haven't, just drag the slider all the way up to the top like that and now we're going to need to add our button background color so i'm going to click on this plus button and add black as my button background color and for the border width we're going to set this to zero now let's add our button border radius 
and we are going to set this to 10 vw and for our font uh, we're going to leave that as work sans because that's the font that we've used before so moving on as you can see the button here looks quite small so we need to make it nice and big so we're going to come over here to our padding and we're going to set this to 1VW both to the top and the bottom. And then we also need to set the left and right padding. So I'm going to go in and add that like that. Okay, so moving on, we're going to come all the way down here to spacing and we are going to start here with our bottom margin and this is going to be 2VW. Uh, top padding is going to be 3. So I'm going to go ahead and add it here and bottom padding is going to be the same as well at 3VW and then we're going to add left and right. So now you can see everything is in place. So we're done here. I'm just going to save. So the next step here is to go into our column settings and then we're going to go into column 2. I'm going to click on this gear item and on column two, we are going to add a gradient color here by clicking on this plus button, clicking on the second tab and our very first color is going to be transparent. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and just drag this down a little bit and then paste my values between the brackets like that. For my second color, I'm going to set this to white and my gradient here needs to be set to linear and my start position is going to be at 39. Next, I'm going to head over here to design border. We're going to set this to 1VW to all the corners. And then we are also going to add a box shadow. So I'm going to come over here and let's choose the style of the border that we need. So I'm going to come over here and choose this first one here and box shadow blur strength. So this is what we need to change here. So this needs to be set to 100 and box shadow color also needs to be changed. So I'm going to come all the way down here and click on this eyedropper tool and paste my value between the brackets. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this uh, tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so moving on, let's head over to transform translate. So I'm going to select transform. Now we are going to add different values here. So I'm just going to start off by breaking this chain and adding my value here to the bottom. In fact, we need transform translate, break the chain, and let's add minus 5 VW. And then right here, we're going to leave it at uh, 0 VW. And then pretty much this is our layout. I'm going to save that. Save this one more time. And then we're going to publish it. Right, so let's exit the Visual Builder and take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.